So have you ever accidentally fallen on your button? <laughs> well, greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. I don't recommend it. No. This is my, wow, my go-to favorite ECG watch device thing. I love carrying it in my pocket without the bands. I can, like, turn it on, put it in ECG mode, put the electrical plates next to here, hold the side, get into my ECG chart, and watch my waveform dance across the screen and see how I'm greeting the day, I guess. Uh, but I got a problem. It fell and I landed on my button. Yeah, and so it doesn't turn on anymore. That's my first criteria. Second criteria is I have a backup. Yeah, here's another N58. Works perfectly. Nice, huh? And the third thing is it's busted. Not this one. This one. I have it. I have a backup, and the first one's busted. When those three conditions are met, you know what we do. We demolish the original. <laughs> uh, you can see I've got a little scar mark here and there. I decided I was going to mess around with this at breakfast over cereal and see if I could get into it, and I couldn't. I was un incredibly well built, and then I thought, what the heck? You guys might like to see my attempts at opening up this thing. It's not some big fancy Android watch where you need to figure out where to unplug the battery in case you get into boot looping. I know a lot of you don't know what I'm talking about. But those of you who do have been there. Well, this is a sealed, hermetically sealed, wonderful little thing that's all busted up and... I got a selection of tools. So we're we're going to see where we can go and whether or not we can actually get in this thing and look at some of the chips and electronics that make this ECG stuff work. You with me? All right, let's go. So first thing I'm going to do is bring over Mrs. Tick's cutting board, but I'm not going to tell her I've got it. Uh, I just don't want to damage the foundation any more than necessary. We have the watch, we have a flashlight in case we get into trouble. I've got these big spectacle things over my eyes, so I'm hopefully going to be on camera, but I'm not going to be looking at it. I'm going to try to see up close what we're doing. And I'm going to begin with a little pry thing, like, like a screwdriver like this, with the edge like this, and with the light in my mouth, a little bit brighter, like that, we're going to get in here and show you this thing is like really, really glued. Glued so much that I'm afraid I need my uh, dusty old hammer. I don't think I've used this thing since the last time we busted into one of these. Sorry about that. Um, wow, okay. I kind of need a vice thing to hold this in or something. Uh, I put it in here. I pound it. See if I can get it to open. No. Hmm. How about pliers? Pliers might work. These are really big. They're called huskies. Uh, would it turn? I got it biggest setting. You can you see why I didn't go into uh, construction work? Uh, I'm gonna get it on here. You ready? <sighs> okay, okay. Uh, needle nose, needle nose might do it. Needle nose pliers. Let's see if I if I grab here and push it. Oh God, I'm drooling. Okay. Yes, yes, yes! I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Now, we get back to the screwdriver. Here we go. Okay. Okay, here comes the ring. Whoa. Whoa. 
Okay, we got the ring off. You know what? The darn thing is one piece of plastic. The ring was just sitting there looking pretty. There's no way to get into the back. It's got to come off from the front. Uh-oh. Well, we had luck with pliers before. Oh, wait a minute. It wasn't these, right? It was these. Uh, we don't have any edge on this one, though. It's smooth all the way around. Hmm. Well, when in doubt, just try. God, there's nothing to grab onto here. Whoa. Whoa. Is there any other way to get in here? Come on, guys. I can tell. No, it's <laughs> it's all sealed. Okay. Uh screwdriver? I kind of got a little start there. Ah. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of getting some plastic to give way there. If I can hammer it. Where's the hammer? There it is. Okay. Okay. Ah. Stay there. Come on. I can feel you guys' pain. There's a much better way of doing this. Getting there? Yeah! Okay. Bust into the plastic. Maybe we can get underneath it. Ah! Ah! Here we go. Okay. Got it good now. Hold it. Hold it. Good enough to do this? Have I got a hook? Can I, can I pry it? Ah! 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 Now that feels better. I had to take it off camera a little bit to uh, skewer it. But I got inside. <laughs> I'm talking with the darn flashlight in my mouth. Um, where do we go from here? Where are we actually? We're pretty deep into the plastic. It looks like we're... Oh, sorry, you're seeing my thumb. We're about ready to pry open the cover. So let's do that. Okay. Can I just lift it? Yeah, yeah, it's starting. If I can get it enough that I can get in here with the pliers. Uh oh, it's it's getting upset with me. Whoa, did I fix it? Oh no, but I've got an infinitely running heart rate monitor right now. Maybe I should leave it like that, huh? No, it's still working. That's good news. Um, where are we? Here we are. Okay. Pliers. Pliers inside the hole. Yes! Okay, you ready? Yeah! I don't know how to spell that. That's not really a word. U-G-H-H-H? Uh, -H -H? No. Okay, we, gotta, we still got to pry it more with this. We get under here. You know what? I got bigger one. Go to the biggest. Right here. Yeah. 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 Maha. Uh -huh. Now I should be able to get the pliers in. No, I'll just keep going with the screwdriver. We're loosening the ring around the edge with the glass too, I think. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm. Yay! Woo-hoo! Ah, we're in. We're in. There's the wire. No, it isn't. That's a little rubber thing. Maybe it's a wire. No, no. That's <clears throat> that's just the protector, right? That uh keeps it waterproof but I can pull it and take it off. And there's the glass cover 
with the ring that we need to touch as the outer electrode. So somehow, probably right there, it's been connected into the whole watch. And I was on heart rate. Oh, look at that! Hey, hey, it's working again. Oh my gosh. Oh, now what do I do? Do I destroy it or do I leave it? I'm going to press ECG. Is it going to go into the mode? Yeah! Okay, there's the chart. No, no, because I took the ring off. All right, we may as well go further, you think? Back into the mouth. Okay. It is working, though. That's nice. So, when we lift up, uh-huh, we get the cover off. Yeah. Now we got the basic module. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Hey, look, a screw. Oh, oh too bright. There you go. A screw. Let's deal with that. When you can screw, screw. When you got to pry, pry. We got a screw, so let's try taking it off. See what happens. Okay, screw is out. Another one up there. Yep, we got another screw up here. Uh-huh. Wow, it's kind of uh, right near where I pried it open, so it's a little hard to get into. Uh -huh. Come on. Ah. Uh, uh, ah. You know what? I gotta take the pliers. I'm teaching you advanced techniques for opening a watch. I hope you appreciate that. Uh huh. Guaranteed. Guaranteed to void any warranty you may ever have thought you had. Okay, I think I may have even stripped the threads. No? Just got to get it in there. Okay, we're ready. There we go. Yes, light up, baby. You know, all I really needed to do was try to get in to fix the button. There, it screws out. But uh, as you could see, that was pretty much impossible. Wow, we are in. We are in. There's the uh, two electrodes for the heart rate uh, connection of the ECG. There's the pins for the battery charging and the magnets right there that's the magnets that hold the uh, the charger in there's the two pins that come through here and transfer power to here and this is the motherboard with the battery which is soldered in can't take it out easily we've got uh, a ribbon cable coming down now to these electronics and it looks like they may just be taped in here so i'm going to pull off the tape and remove this and here you go look at this this is a circuit board that's got the connectors for the ecg it's got some words on here okay this way i guess is it too over bright for you on there p18 n58 designed just for this particular watch that's the heart rate diodes there and then these are the ecg things and this is a ribbon cable that takes all that signal back to the motherboard it's this motherboard we want to get into oh that's the little vibration engine this is what you see in the uh, watches you see that thing spinning around right there it's off center a little bit and that goes brr, brr, when the little motor is activated and that's how you get your vibration Okay, I'm going to put it back in my mouth, so I can't talk as easily now, but I need both hands to try to take the battery off. Uh-huh. It's just stuck on there. And now we are totally inside. So this is, this is it. This is the goodies that make this thing run. Can we read them? There's a chip right here. How is it on the camera? Yeah, I think I can look on the camera. One of these is that special Texas instrument chip, supposedly, I think, that gives you that uh, uh, the, the whole ECG thing. That looks kind of bigger, so it's probably the processor. You see that one? 2832, it looks like. Then there's a chip right there. 
And there's a chip over there. One of them's probably PPG, the other's ECG. And this is the, uh, the signal coming in here, kind of close to that one. These other little chips are probably support things. Let's take this one out now, like that. Okay, got spare part. And this is the whole, the whole watch. Five volts ground, that's where the power comes in to charge, of course. And then there's the battery feeding the whole thing. And we've got the screen right here. And it's a little flat thing. Wow, look at that with the, you see it separating? Okay, it just kind of stuck on there. Yeah, yeah, oh, 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 okay, I don't want to rip that. So there's the overall screen itself with a backing. I can take that off. Wow, okay. There's the ribbon cable coming to it. It comes out too, like so. I think that's everything we can remove, yeah. So there you have it, the N58, the innards of an ECG PPG watch. And my problem was that little button right there, which is held in with a, a washer that somehow got displaced from its spot that it needed to push against the little switch, which is right there. Huh? It's making contact. So when it fell, it maybe just uh, moved up or down a little bit with respect to where it was, but it wasn't in line, so I couldn't actually turn the watch on anymore. And as a result, we get to dissect the whole thing. Here's what it looks like complete. Again, the uh, N58, it says EKG or ECG watch, and We've got a lot of these coming out. In fact, check the show notes, and I've got links to a gazillion of them that um, I'm reviewing some and some I'm not, uh, but the links are there to look at all of them. Uh, they use the two plates plus contact with another plate from the other side of your body to initiate the ECG, and when you activate it on a working watch, it looks like this. You put that there, you put that there, and now you've got this chart. Some of them, uh, you don't even need to use a button. It's got a button on the front of the screen and you can cycle through the screen. Those are really good for wearing on your arm uh, because you can just touch the face of the screen to get to where you want to go and then create um, your heart rate or your blood pressure or your ECG wave. Other ones like this one, because it's a button on the side, I can put it in the pocket because the screen doesn't, isn't sensitive and it's a lot easier to pull it out and just cycle through using, uh, using the button. So it depends on how you're going to wear it, what you're going to do with it, but uh, definitely the wave of the future is biometrics, including all the things we talked about, heart rate and blood pressure and heart waves and more, uh, fatigue and uh, sleep dynamics, uh, many, many things coming. Anyway, I just wanted to play with you a little bit, let you see that, and uh, remind you to not fall on your button.